It's definitely an interesting time to be in the toilet paper industry. So we do occasionally see spikes like this um, you know, through our business when we're running a marketing campaign. We see spikes like this on Earth Day, but this spike was fairly unprecedented. I think at one point we were selling 27 rolls of toilet paper every second, which is something that you know, we've just never seen demand like that before. Yeah, so this is at the moment our staging area. Um, however, less than a week ago, this whole area was full of toilet paper, so wall-to-wall -to -wall toilet paper. And this here, this space and the stock that we put away is depleted within two weeks. So definitely an, an, an uprise this week, definitely, since the weekend. Um, biggest orders that I've seen since I've been taking care of the account. So it's been a pretty crazy 24, 48 hours in toilet paper sales. We saw a 10x increase in demand for our product yesterday. As of 8 a.m. this morning, we actually marked our store as sold out. So we're still fulfilling orders for our subscribers and our business customers. We want to make sure don't run out, but we're not accepting new orders from new customers or new subscribers at this stage. I think um, most of the stock that we'll be seeing here will be going out overnight and then we're holding on to a small amount of stock to make sure that we can continue fulfilling our subscriber orders and at the same time we'll take stock and see how much we've got left in our warehouse and then figure out when we can turn everything back on again later this week. Personally I think that we're probably going to see this surge for another couple of days. You know, It's going to take a little bit of time for supermarkets to restock and then I expect that this, this buying surge will probably die down a little bit. For us that's probably another about a week from today before we get toilet paper back onto our store and are able to start supplying people again. What's kind of interesting is that we can also see what sales data looks like across the rest of the country and we're seeing that you know the Northern Territory is actually very cool, calm and collected. No one's panic buying toilet paper in the Northern Territory. We're seeing a lot more panic buying happening in New South Wales, for example, compared to other states. And the suburbs of Balmain and Mosman have been you know, really over-indexing on our product in particular. So I think um, really this is a human reaction and it's something that we can all control. Um, if we can all stay cool, calm and collected, then we're not going to have runs on household items like this. But on top of that, I think it's a good time to be talking to your neighbours, be talking to your friends, making sure that people have got the things that they need because there are people out there who probably run out of toilet paper today and now can't figure out where to buy it.